supply does not give credit where credit is due. That woman got this one right, and the rest of us whiffed. Guess Jacob Kane won't be the only one eating a little crow. Boxer Chris the Fist Medlock was not only cleared in the executioner murders, but also exonerated of his past murder conviction. Talk about a one-two punch. Not so good news for the man who convicted him, Judge Raymond Calvarick. The DA has vowed to reopen all cases tainted by this extra-legal cabal, including deceased detective Stu Donnelly and prosecutor Angus Stanton. You're right behind me, aren't you? Where is she? I, you know, I, she just left. Uh, uh, how can I put this? You let her escape. I know you said to hold on to her, but my stepdad is her boss, and I'm running a little short on family right now. Not that you asked about my personal life, but it's a mess. The last thing I need is him shutting down the one good thing I have going on. Thank you for saving her life. Oh. Hey, hey, FYI, she knows who you are. Hey, chill. She didn't tell me, but I got the distinct impression that she's gonna tell my stepdad. So, good luck with that. Well, Bruce, now I know how much it must have hurt hearing your uncle blame me for what happened on the bridge. But he had to blame someone. But Seeing him fight so hard to avoid the truth that was right in front of him made me realize I was doing the same thing. I've been blaming my dad for not saving Beth that day. But it wasn't his hand on that door, only inches away from her. He wasn't the one who crossed that house off of the list of places where Beth could be. I don't know how. We're gonna get Beth back. And this time, I swear to you, I will never give up. I don't know if forgiving my father will help me forgive myself, but I have to try. find you here. How could you ever think I was trying to replace you?